Okay, well, I normally don't talk about it, but people are curious when I talk about my fucked up health. Um, so at 71, so I have a very fucked up back, a degenerative disc disease in three spots. My kidneys are overworked and suffering. I have a uh, very bad fatty liver disease for many years that the VA fucked up on treating. When they finally took care of it, it was already pretty damaged. My lungs are fucked up. I have uh, crushed glass nodules growing in my lungs, which isn't good. Now I have to see a cardiologist. I've been having <laughs> bad heart problems. I've been treated for hemochromatosis, frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder, by the way, was one of the most horrible fucking things that have ever happened to me for a year. I mean, I couldn't put a jacket on. I couldn't put a jacket on. I'm really grateful that I was building Dirty Girl at the time. That bike kept me occupied mentally and it kept me moving because whenever I stopped moving my shoulders, they would freeze. And then it was incredibly painful to get them moving again. Can't explain it. Frozen shoulder, both sides. Horrifyingly bad. And that's just the tip of the fucking iceberg. So take care of your bodies. You're going to need it when you get older. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't vape. If you smoke, find a reason to quit. You are going to live long enough to regret it. Okay, that's one of the first lies we tell ourselves. Oh, the world's probably going to end before I fucking die of lung cancer anyway. No, no, and no. Okay, you are going to fucking get old. Hopefully, hopefully. You are going to get old, and you are going to suffer the consequences of the fucking life you led. Me, too many exposures to chemicals and radiation. Radiation was private companies. Uh, my chemical exposures were military. I have disassociated DNA. Uh, I'm just, I'm a fucking mess. And everyone's like, oh, Lyrian, you look so good. Dude, you look good. I haven't seen you in a while. You look so fucking good. Because I'm not wrinkled up, I guess. Uh, that's because I'm basically a prisoner inside. I don't get out much. I don't get much sun. I have to take vitamin D. So, yeah, that's why you always see me stuck in my chair. You don't see my canes and shit like that laying around. Because I keep, I don't have those in my, in my shots. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, would I take it all back? I don't know. There's a trouble with that. There's trouble with saying I would have done things different. There's been a couple of times in my life where I was so torn because I would have changed the situation absolutely 100%, but changing that would have deprived me of so much love and, and, you know, caring and, and the, the joys, the whole fucking joy of living would have been, you know, thrown in the grinder had my plans come true. And it's, it happened again. Um, you know, my, my granddaughter got pregnant before, you know, before she was ready. I told her we got her birth control and everything. And I, I, I for years before she had sex, <laughs> I said, you know, you, you know, you, you, you want to be 30 before you have a kid to even decide if you are responsible enough or want to have one or find the right mate. Okay. Nope. She forgot one time and that was it. She got pregnant. At that moment, I'm so frustrated and angry and just, I'm frustrated because I understand what she's done. And now, to think that I wouldn't have Olivia in my life is horrible. It's just terrifying. I, I, she's the joy of my life. How could I not have that? You see, and had I had my plan succeeded instead of the the way it was supposed to be, had my plan succeeded, I would be deprived of that. 
be. So would I change anything in my life? I, I find it hard to do that because as, as much as I would like to change, I'm not wise enough and I don't have enough wisdom to know what would, would have or could have benefited my life in any way. You know what I mean? Sometimes we regret our decisions without understanding that without the mistakes and the problems and the errors of our ways that we would be deprived of so much. So I don't know. The pain? Mm, I can live with the pain. Me and pain are old buddies. First off, I have a low pain threshold. We've always known that. But what comes with that is a low pleasure threshold. <laughs> so it's tit for tat there. That's a that's a that's a draw. Out we go. Um, my 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 pain. That's probably the most fucked up thing because it's not always there. It's not always there, but it's mostly there. It's the inability to interact with the world. That's what gets me to like my inability to build drag bikes. My inability to go out and, you know, run and rollerblade with the kids like I used to. Golf. Baseball. And we're talking about a guy who batted 870 for five years in AAA softball. Everybody always wondered how I did that. And I told them, oh, that's from 10,000 times hitting baseball saying, okay, second base, click. <laughs> coaching, 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 coaching. Year after year after year after year after year. You learn to just go blip. And I would just place the ball. I wasn't a home run hitter. I've always been a skinny little kid, man. Blip, blip, blip. They could never fucking catch me because I also had some great wheels. Okay. Physically, I was always quite a, a, a killer specimen. I could get away with anything. I could do pretty much anything with my body. <laughs> Which I did, and now here I am today. <laughs> Telling myself, well, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. No, I don't know if I would change anything. The, prob the ailments and the problems I have are just part of living life. Um, in the fast lane, you know, very few people had my jobs. Very few people had my jobs. Very few people have done what I've done in my life, um, work-wise. Um, there were only six people in the world that did my job. Six on the fucking planet. And of course I had the record. I had the record and they don't, they don't use that anymore because, well, I came up with an idea to replace what we were doing to get rid of the uh, exposing people radioactively. And Con Am Inspection stole my idea, got a patent the next day, and then laid me off. And then, that, then they made millions and millions of dollars licensing that to other companies. So, yeah, I've been fucked over many times by capitalism, greed, the military, uh, and my own fucking stupidity. And here I am at 71, paying the price for that. Would I change anything? I can't say I would. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous, and it doesn't do any good to regret your past life. Okay? Um... I learned to forgive myself, I'd say 18, basically 20 years ago is when it started. When I, when I got involved with YouTube, it opened me up to uh, expressing myself and letting go of all the anger I had for what had been done. Ripped off for hundreds of millions of dollars, my body fucking destroyed. Also, other people could get rich. I resented that. I was a very angry person. Now I'm just a dick instead, but a very happy one. I have everything I need in life. 
Um, and I never thought I would come to that point unless I was a trillionaire, you know what I mean? With a 700 foot boat kind of thing, just like the rest of them. I was had a disease to mine. It's taken 20 years of helping and caring for others uh, that has brought me to a point of happiness. It's hard to believe that as fucked up as, as I am, that I'm, I'm an incredibly happy person. And YouTube, I can say, played not, not an insignificant part in that, in allowing me to have therapy sessions here with total fucking strangers that I don't know, that, you know, I, I can admit all the bad things I've done in my life, all the good things I've done in my life, the incredible things I've done in my life. Um, you know, <laughs> professionals tend to be jealous of the life I've led because they're like, well, I spent my whole life trying to make money and I spent my whole life trying to kill myself. <laughs> yes, I did save the entire East Coast of the United States. It's a fact. It's true. Okay. Um, my crew... We did the inspection at Three Mile Island on their intake tubes for the cooling ponds. We normally do the steam generator, the hot part, the radioactive part. This time we were simply doing the cooling tubes that go out to the, to the cooling ponds and then to the condensers. And we decided to get done early for various reasons. And we did double the shift for a week. Instead of 220 tubes and 220 tubes a night, we did 440. 444 was the most that I did in one night. When we got home on the airplane, after finishing our inspection, uh, we were there for one day. The next morning, we drove to the airport, and by the time we got home, when as soon as we walked in the door, we could tell something was wrong. Everyone was looking at me and Gerald, and they said, the plant is melting down. What? Three Mile Island's melting down. Well, the reason that we didn't have a Chernobyl in the United States was because my crew did those double shifts. Had we not decided to do that, to get home early, they wouldn't have been able to put the plates on the wall. They wouldn't have been able to use a thermodynamic system of heating to cycle water through the system. The hot water would rise up, fall over the other side of the steam generator. That would suck water in from the cooling pond and that would recirculate. And they used a thermal dynamic system for circulating water to keep it cool enough so we didn't have another Chernobyl. Had we not decided to do those double shifts, the United States would be a different place on the East Coast. 64,000 times as deadly as cyanide. Okay, and there was tons of that shit in there. The, it's, the Three Mile Island sits in the middle of the fucking Susquehanna River. It's not like the water table was a long ways away and there would have been a gigantic explosion, probably bigger than Chernobyl. So that's my claim to fame, is that I helped save, along with seven other people, we saved the East Coast of the United States. You know, we've never gotten recognition for that because the Nuclear Regulatory Commission didn't want anything known about that, how close we came. Had we not done those double shifts, the United States would be a different place right now. So... Now, I can't say that I would take anything back because you can't, you can't fuck with the past. It is, what, it is what has made you who you are, okay? It's too dangerous to dabble in that. It really is, so. Okay, I'm starting to get really nauseous from my, all my medications I have to take in the morning, so I'm gonna check out. <laughs>